let's have a look at passage 2 now passage 2 talks about the attempt of physicists to find dark matter the missing matter of the universe why do they think that such matter exists because of this uh, thing that was shown by an astronomer that the stars at the edges of galaxies rotate faster than we would expect from just the mass that we can see through telescopes so because of that they think that there is some missing mass that they are calling dark matter now they have tried to ex uh, experiment with a lot of particles they have tried to assign this missing matter to a lot of particles but uh, none of them have actually given evidence of the fact that they actually are the dark matter therefore a dark horse theory has emerged what does this theory say that uh, when the universe was formed something else was also formed black holes and these black holes uh, actually they they uh, all the mass of the stars collapses down to one extremely dense point in a black hole right and probably that therefore explains the missing mass this is what this passage is about all right let's have a look at question 8 it says that none of the following can be inferred from the passage except which one now that means what can be inferred from the passage what can be inferred okay uh, a says dark matter is present everywhere even on our planet this is false as per the passage regular matter makes up about 5% of the universe we'll verify this scientists have proven the existence of fuzzy dark matter extreme word let's see if this is true or not so we have been told about fuzzy dark matter here and it says that scientists were looking for other tiny particles known as fuzzy dark matter but with a lack of evidence for any of these ideas so they have certain certainly not proven it right so that eliminates this option as false Dark matter is likely to be present in black holes. Let's see if that is something that is given or implied. We've been told about black holes that some scientists believe that black holes could solve the problem of dark matter. They could solve the problem of dark matter. That is what some scientists believe. So saying that dark matter is likely to be present in black holes that is problematic actually okay so it's quite possible no that dark that these uh, black holes just give me some evidence about the existence of dark matter they don't contain it actually in black holes uh, dark matter is in black holes would mean as if black holes contain it so we can't infer something like this moreover whether it is likely or not that also cannot be inferred because it is simply uh, what some scientists believe that they could solve the problem so it's a big leap from what is given to us in the passage and therefore b is also eliminated okay b is not something that we can deduce with certainty can't say b regular matter makes up about five percent of the universe let's see why this is the answer okay so going back regular matter so we are told that dark matter makes up about 25 percent of the universe okay 25 percent of the universe this is dark matter and we have also been told that there should be about five times as much dark matter as regular matter so dark matter is five times regular matter so we can equate these two just write five times regular matter here and then just solve it so regular matter Yes, it is indeed 5% of the universe as per our best estimates. Okay, so therefore this is something that is true as far, as far as our passage is concerned. And that's why this is the answer. Option B, uh, a moderate question because it did require some thinking on your part between B and A. 